If you thought for once that this reggae channel would bypass this man, Mr. Clement Dodd and his record label Studio One without paying any form of tribute, you need to check what you've been smoking. <laughs> Studio One is one of Jamaica's most renowned record labels. It has been described as the Motown of Jamaica. The record label was involved with most of the major music movements in Jamaica during the 1960s and 70s, including ska, rocksteady, reggae, dub, and dancehall. Studio One unleashed some of reggae music's greatest pioneers. We're talking about people like Bob Marley and the Wailers, Marcia Griffiths, Ken Booth, Freddie McGregor, Alton Ellis, Burning Spear, Lee Scratch Perry, and that's just to name a few. So for this tutorial, I am going to teach you guys how to play my top five Studio One rhythms. So grab your guitars, let's go. Okay, so for this one, it's two cards, and that's your B flat major to your A flat major. All right. Now, the main objective of this one is to hold the rhythm steady. All right. It's not not supposed to be all over the place. All right. So B flat major, A flat major, and you want to concentrate mostly on the thinner strings down there all right so you're holding the full card just for stability all right so and remember it's reggae so you want to apply pressure and release okay now to farm this to farm these cards you want to buy the whole Seven, um, six fret, place the middle finger on the third string, seven fret, pinky finger on the fourth string, eight fret, ring finger on the fifth string, eight fret. That's your B flat major. To get the A flat major, you just want to go hold down with the pointer finger starting at the fourth fret. All right, so you get. Now for the stock line, I'm gonna go slow and you guys follow, all right? So it. Okay, so again, faster, this is how it sounds. You can alternate the picking which would be much better than all right but it's up to you so at times you can pick up here then jump back here so it's, it's gonna go like this <laughs> 
This one again has two cards, right? But let's start with the stock line, all right? Goes like this. Remember, it's best if you alternate the picking. All right, so we we'll go like this, slow. Slower. The cards are B minor and A major. You start with the A major, all right? The same rule applies as the first one, all right? So you wanna borrow the whole fifth fret, place that middle finger on the second, the, the third string, sixth fret, place the pinky finger on the fourth string, seventh fret, place the ring finger on the fifth string, 7 fret To get the B minor you want to go all the way up with the same position and lift the middle finger And that's your B minor or you can switch it around like that all right So then then you got And that's basically it. Remember to apply pressure as you strike and release.
discipline to play reggae it's not all about shredding the guitar and all over the guitar neck okay so for this one right it's a a minor to g major all right and sometimes it comes to when you're going to exit the chorus that's the d major all right so you want to play first by the whole fifth fret plays that ring finger on the fifth string seventh fret place the pinky finger below on the fourth string and again you can switch it around if you want to R. okay then i already showed you guys how to hold the majors but again by the whole fifth by the whole third fret place that middle finger on the third string fourth fret place the pinky finger on the fourth string fifth fret place the ring finger on the fifth string fifth fret and that's your g major so you're playing from a minor Sometimes it's like, you know, you know, sometimes you do some of that, all right? And at times when you're, when you're on that A minor, you want to place the pinky finger on the first string, seventh fret at times. Just build, just touch it. One, release. your D major you want to bar the whole fifth fret and place that ring finger on the second third and fourth string of the seventh fret and you're striking from the fifth string down all right hope I'm not going too fast for you guys all right but I know you guys should know all these cards all right so yeah that's basically it for that this song does not really have a stock line but if you insist and you want to play a stock line So that's stock line. So for the A minor, you're gonna play. Then, then you go to the G. All right, and just before you exit the chorus, you're gonna go all the way here. So you're playing on the fourth, um, the fifth string, fifth string, fifth fret to the fourth string, seventh fret. Back. So it's. Then. Then. That's basically it for the stuff line. Like the previous this one does not have a stock line and it's a simple one strike all right 
No, this one is in, the, is in some minor cards, all right? No majors at all, all right? So it's a G minor to a C minor. G minor, C minor. Now, when it gets to the bridge, it moves from the C minor to the D minor back to the C minor. You do two runs of that. Back to it. D minor to the C minor. And back to the G minor. And that's basically it for it. Alright, I already showed you guys how to form these cards. I, I need not to go too deep into that part. Alright, but remember. And now my guitar is clean. The only thing I'm using on my guitar is a little bit of reverb and some delay. All right, and that is just my ch my choice. All right, so so when it's time to go to that D minor, I slide like that. can slide in the G minor if you want to all right you don't even have to make it sound so heavy so like I said like the previous this does not have a stock line all right but if you choose to you can for last this is my personal favorite from mr alton ellis this one is called breaking up so let's start with the stock line it goes like this all right so let me go slow so you guys can follow all right stock line the rhythm all right 
So you're playing from that B flat major to a C sharp minor. All right, sometimes C sharp minor seventh. All right, so this is what you're playing. So you wanna bar the sixth fret with the pointer finger, place the middle finger on the third string, seventh fret, place the pinky finger on the fourth string, eighth fret, place the ring finger on the fifth string, eighth fret. Keep that same position and push it up a hole to the 8th fret, right? And then lift the middle finger and you get that C minor or C minor 7 if you lift the pinky finger also. All right, so you're playing. That's basically it for the rhythm. So. There are a little bit of scratching here and there, you know, a little bit of, you know, pull off. So you want to do like, you're going to hear a little bit of. So that, that's your 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 fret, the pinky finger on the 10 fret when you're playing that C minor. If I said C sharp minor, I'm my bad. All right, so C minor. So you. All right. This song also has a bridge. And that bridge is a three to a two. So now that's your D minor. Breaking down is hard to do. All right, so, so bar the whole fifth fret, place the middle finger on the second string, sixth fret, place the pinky finger on the third string, seventh fret. Ring finger on the fourth string, seventh fret. And that's your D minor. Then you jump to your C minor. You play two rounds of that. So you're gonna play. And that's basically it for that song, my favorite. Yeah, man, and that is my top five Studio One rhythm. If you disagree with me, put your favorite down there in the comment section. And if you would like to see part two, you know, let me know. If this tutorial was helpful, if you enjoyed it, let me know also. Drop more requests down there. Talk to me a little bit. Talk to each other down there in the comment section. There are questions that people in the family, you know, can answer. Check the cards. I have over 100 tutorials here on my channel. Your favorite might be here. Do not forget to like, comment, share. Do not forget to subscribe. Remember my name, Zion. Blessed love. Peace out. See you next time.